this work? No, it's not. Oh, ow. Is it? Oh, something's happening. Hello? Yes, I will just try and speak loudly. Oh, something's happening. So the, the hiss is low, but my I'm loud. Cool. It's about the screen. Okay. Hello! Um, this is my first ever time experimenting with a live stream, so don't expect a lot. Um, but basically I got a 3D printer for my 21st birthday, which is super awesome. Um, it's the Atom 2.5X EX. Um, 3D printer, yeah, that's it. It's a Delta design. Um, I just thought I'd go over unboxing it and uh, and building it, I guess. I'm not really sure where that's going to go or if I'll stop it and then build it and then come back and review it again. Um, but yeah, I'm super psyched. Um, literally never seen one of these over here, over here, Western Hemisphere. Um, the guy on YouTube, Tom. Does lots of 3D printing stuff. He did. A, he's the only review I saw of one. Um, that was the the Mark II, I think, and this is a 2.5 EX. So hopefully there should be some new stuff in here. Uh, let's just get started. I got some extra things, uh, laser engraver and whatnot. That's probably in there. I'll just. Whip open the package for now. Oh, this is so big. Right, how does this work? So this is, uh, like I mentioned, this is a dual, I didn't mention that, it's a Delta printer. Um, it's also this like new model, because they've had the Atom 1 and Atom 2 and everything. This model is their attempt at dual extrusion. So I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, let's come up here. That's better. Okay. I don't want to ruin the logo because it looks so cool. Ooh, lots of fun things. There seem to be a few individual packages in here. I guess I'll just start opening them. My trusty knife. Fun fact, I nearly chopped my finger off with this knife. That one nearly went right through when trying to get an annoying raft off of a print. 
because I was also being really stupid. Um, so I definitely learned from that experience. <laughs> also, what is this? This is the heated bed. Cool stuff. Oh, that's sort of like a picture of what it looks like. There you go. Um, just the bits and bobs and everything. Pull that aside for a sec. <sighs> quite light. That's because it's an empty box. <laughs> That's useful. Um, probably for packaging and shipping. Alright, can I get these out of the out of the case? Space, but not clean bedroom. <laughs> okay, Let's start this one. This one comes with the. Um, you can just get the, the bed structure of the machine, but then you can get these nice panels to go on the uh, the three kind of edges. And that's what these are here. So yeah, it's three of them that will stand up. And I think this is an empty box, but I'm just going to check. It is! But I love boxes. There's, there's, you always find a use for an empty box. Uh, right, the big boy. Oh my, this is actually quite heavy. <laughs> Be careful this one as well. Said the uh, everything shipping costs like uh, weighed about 24 kilos, which I was quite surprised at, seeing as none of the printers I own are anywhere near that. But this weighs a lot. Sick. What have we got here? Um, they just gave me some white PLA, which is cool. That hmm. I did order um, the, their own brand of uh, flexible filament with this, so I hope they didn't mix up the order. I hope that flexible filament is somewhere, because I'll be quite annoyed otherwise. Because this is a uh, Bowden uh, Bowden system. Um, yet yeah, they 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 sell their own filament, flexible filament, so they must believe it can work. So that's why I got some to see. This is the laser, laser engraver. This is cool. Why is it? Ah, it gave me some glasses. Okay. So I've got to do some assembly on that as well. So I'll come back to that. Right. The main bit. It's all packaged very nicely. <laughs> this is fun. There we 
gay. Ooh, one sec. I'm on a different screen. I'm just going to go to YouTube so I can see if anyone's said anything. They haven't. I've got one viewer. Hello, viewer. Thank you for watching. <laughs> cool. Okay. Anyways, back to video. Use the manual stuff. Cool. Oh, what? Ah, cool. So they're all labelled um, one, two, three, four, um, which is quite helpful, actually. So I guess I'll open them up in that order. I have no clue what this is. <laughs> There's so many bits. Um, yeah, I don't think I need to mention it's a kit. So, yeah, I need to build this. Um, so, yeah, there's probably just lots of bits and bobs in here. Side two. Oh, that's a bit of Oh, nice. So, yeah, they give you a cool little toolkit. Nothing too fancy, but it's nice to, you know, have the right size Allen key and all that. <laughs> Ran into that problem with the maker bot. Uh, cool, lots of tubes and things like that. Um, oh, these are like the kind of the mounts for the three edges um, that the uh, tubes go into. Gave me a scraper, that's nice. Uh, four. Treating. Oh, okay. These cool little um, tubs, which are just the screws and other components. Got some feet, it looks like. Uh, other things. These are the arms. So these are carbon fiber wraps, uh, rods. They're so very stiff. And they actually use magnets to connect to the. Okay, I heard this term in the video: effective plate. I don't know the the bit that holds the hot end. Um, so it's pretty cool. E got a glue stick. Classic. Always useful to have another glue stick. Right there. Um, was that five? That was four. Yeah. This is uh, this is part of what holds the spool, the two spools at the top of the machine. They actually go sideways like that. Um, some PTFE tubes, bits and bobs. Oh, a nice stepper motor. Yeah, I thought it was a bit strange. The um, stepper motors they use in this machine. Oh, I'll just show you for a sec. I've never seen these in like other machines before. They're like really long. And I don't know why. Ooh, I'll just get you out. There we go. Cool. Yeah, so not sure which step motors this is for, but as you can see, you know, kind of a unique well I mean it's a step motor, but it's it's not like the normal ones you see. Oh, but okay. Don't want to lose anything, so I'll put that back. Oh, oh I missed out three. Oops. Well, three appears to be the linear rails. So yeah, uses linear rails. No screw threads or, or anything. Um, so this is both fast and accurate. Many rails are lovely. 
the uh, C tennis uses linear rails actually, and that thing, the quality on that thing is ridiculous. It might be a bit slow, uh, -huh. slower, but the the precision is really good. Six. Any guesses what this is? <coughs> Build plate. That's dangerous. in there. I'll keep it looking nice for now. Oh, my phone just buzzed. Man, this is beginning to look like a very <laughs> time-consuming build ahead of me. Good thing I'm an engineer. And then you can see all of the... Oh crap! <laughs> I thought they were attached, sorry. Um, well, there's better be a tough machine for the money it costs. Um, standard um, uh, whatever these are, certain kind of metal tube. Cool, so that's the unboxing. Um, I'm not sure it would be very interesting to watch me build this thing. Um, it'll probably take a while. And I've got pizza on the way. Um, but I'm going to build it, and uh, I may film some of that, and you'll definitely be seeing another video from me uh, reviewing this once it's up and going. Super psyched. It's got um, dual extrusion. It's is it a two in one out nozzle? So I don't know how that works. Well, I mean, I know how it works. I mean, I don't know how it will perform. Um, just flipping high quality, super psyched. Uh, never had a Delta printer before either. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, this is my first live stream. Um, so no, don't hate too much. And uh, see you next time. Uh, right. Hashtag awkward ending because I don't know how.